Okay, we're gonna do a little more work with uh, L'Hopital's rule, and I, I don't think, it, it's pretty straightforward, um, like I said, until you get into these powers, okay? And what you'll end up, you, what you'll end up seeing is an example like this, okay? So, um, it, if we were to work this out, um, just, just, you know, right off the bat, you know, X is gonna go to infinity, Okay, and one over x is going to approach zero. Okay, so so what? I mean, infinity to the zero. I mean, you might recall from algebra that anything raised to the zero power is one, but you know, in, in, infinity isn't a real number. So, yeah, you know, and you know, really, a lot of cases, yeah, it is one, but it, it might not necessarily be the case. So, we're, we're basically what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of, I'm just going to show you. Uh, a method that I use that um, we, we can actually calculate this limit okay but before we do this this is a little more complicated I want to show you just a really easy example okay and this is one we're real familiar with so so we got y equals e to the 2x now we know the graph of this thing is you know we probably know it by heart but it's pretty much gonna do this number I mean, obviously, as as x goes to infinity, this this function is going to go to infinity as well. Okay, um, and and for that matter, you know, the e to the x part of this doesn't change. I mean, there, there's nothing that that really goes on with e. I mean, e, e's you know, it's indestructible. It's the same derivative, same integral, um, you know, and things like that. Um, the only the only part that really has any bearing whatsoever on this function's long-term behavior is you know what's going on up here on this to the x part. So just kind of roughly speaking, um, we're really just going to find the limit of you know the exponential part or the messy part of it, you know, and you know we're we're going to go ahead and treat e. We're we're going to find out what the limit of this two x is. Okay. Let's just do an example. So what I'd want to do is I'd want to use my uh, logarithm power rule. I, first, I want to take both of the uh, you know log of both sides, and now I can just get rid of the power altogether. Now remember that power rule, okay? It says that I can take you know the power of one of those dudes, and I can stick it right in front. Okay, uh, this simplifies to two x because e raised to the number one is what will give me e, so that just turns into one, okay? So now I'm really, I'm really only faced with the limit as x goes to infinity of 2x, because like I said, this 2x is the only thing that's affecting this function, okay? And that, of course, it tends to go to infinity. Did I get it on? No. So there it is now. So what we, what we would do is we just calculate the limit of you know, in, our, in this case, the exponent, okay, and then we just, you know, the limit, basically, we'll, we'll just raise e to whatever uh, the limit is, okay? So you could say that e to the l, you know, is, you know, um, you know where y goes long term, okay? And, and in this case, you know, e multiplied by itself an infinite amount of times uh, does, you know, yield an, an infinite limit okay um, so um, and, and of course we know that you I mean it goes off forever it's an exponent so um, oh crap uh, something's burning I'll be right back okay uh, I, I just burnt my lunch but um, we're gonna keep going here. So, okay, I hope I hope you got that. So, here we go with an example. So, here let's actually work this one out right now. Okay. So, what what would we 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 took the limit of here and we ended up with an indeterminate form, which is good. Which it's good and bad because it's complicated, but it's good because uh, we can use L'Hopital's rule now. But it's just a little bit different. Okay, so what, I'm, what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of look at this as y equals 1 over x. Okay, and the next thing I want to do is I want to take the natural log of both sides. 
Oops. That, I hope, hope you can tell what I was trying to do. Okay, and again, with that logarithm power rule, I can take this guy and I can stick it right out in front. Okay, and I'm going to go back over here to do that. So I got 1 over x times natural log of x. Okay, and this is working out pretty good. Okay, because now I have um, natural log of x over x. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to take the limit um, as x goes to infinity. And, and I'm doing the exact same thing I did in this problem we just did, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm doing the exact same thing we did there, okay? Now, this one yields an indeterminate form as well, infinity over infinity. And like I said, this one is much easier to work with than many of the other ones. So, if you can arrive at this situation, you know you're definitely on your way. Okay? Um, so, let's uh, take this a little further down. Okay? Okay, we're just going to apply L'Hopital's rule again. Derivative of the natural logarithm is... Uh, 1 over x, and a derivative of x is just 1. So what happens? This just approaches 0. Okay? So, just like from the last um, problem we worked out, um, originally we're going to have to re-raise e to this power, okay? Because we took the log of it, okay? So our final answer, okay, the limit to this problem is e raised to the zero power, which is one. Okay, so and, and that's basically what we did. Um, the only difference between this problem and the last one is I already started out with e. Okay, this one I kind of slipped e in there. I kind of you know I, I kind of messed around and slipped it in there. You know using logarithms, but but in this problem it was already there, so not a problem. We eventually got there anyway, and that's pretty much how we did it. Okay. So, um, I don't know. Uh, these are these are tricky too. Okay, I mean, there's more complicated, and that, that one was still pretty easy. So, I don't think I have enough time to make it through my next video. So, I'm, I'm gonna do some more examples of these uh, in another video. Okay, I'll see you then.